Hey there, how's it going? It is your muscle building coach, Lee Hayward, and I'm back in the kitchen making another delicious and healthy and nutritious bodybuilding meal. And on the menu this evening we have rainbow trout. And this is a nice alternative to salmon. It kind of tastes very similar to salmon, but different. Same thing, only different. And I like it as a nice alternative. So what we're going to do now is bake this in the oven and I'm going to basically just jump in now and show you how it's done. With these fillets, the skin is still on the side of the fillet. So what we're going to do is line a cookie sheet with tin foil and I'm not going to grease that tin foil and I'm not going to try and peel the skin off the fish because what we'll do is instead just lay the, the fillets on the tin foil, the skin side down, bake it in the oven and what's going to happen is the skin is going to stick to the tin foil and then it will, as the fish is cooked, it will just peel off so you'll be left with just the pure fish, the skin will be stuck to the tin foil and then you can just discard it so it makes for cleanup, uh, an easy cleanup with this meal. Show you what I mean. Get this in. So like I say, the skin still on the back of the fillets. Just lay them skin side down. There we go. And these are nice big rainbow trout fillets. I'm going to alternate them here. So this is going to be enough for several meals actually. I always like to cook in bulk. So you're saving time by having several meals prepared in advance because it doesn't take any more time to cook up a whole bunch of trout than it does to cook up a little bit of trout. So that's why I am uh, always like to cook in bulk and then have leftovers for another meal. Okay. Get down there. All right. So we've got the fillets laid out. I'm going to spice them up with some salt, pepper, garlic and herb and whatever else I got here. Excuse me, I'm uh, in the cupboard here. I know I'm blocking up the camera. So sea salt, pepper, uh, what do we got there? A roasted garlic and pepper. I think that's going to go good. Yes it will. Alright, so I'll just show you. A roasted garlic and pepper and then just sea salt and black pepper. So that will give a nice flavor to our trout. This, like I say, is very quick and easy to prepare. Not a lot of, you know, prep time involved. Just literally lay it on a cookie sheet and then bake it in the oven. And of course, cleanup is a breeze. Where we're doing this all in the tin foil, you're not going to have to be scraping off any burnt-on fish off the cookie sheet. So it's a, a very easy meal to prepare and clean up afterwards. And easy is always good easier and more convenient you can make it, the better. So there we go. I have the oven preheated to 350 degrees. And I'm just going to bake that as so. And it'll take probably about 20 minutes. I'm going to kind of be picky booing back and forth here now and like check it in about 15 minutes and then every five minutes thereafter until it's until the edges are kind of starting to brown up a little bit and the cooking time is going to vary based on the thickness of the fillet but start checking it at about the 15 minute mark and then like say every five minutes or so thereafter until the fish is done so I'll be back in a few minutes and to go along with our salmon we are going to make a side dish of quinoa and this is a nice complex carbohydrate it's a good alternative to rice or pasta and it is quinoa, Q-U-I-N-O-A, quinoa. And this is a gluten-free, healthy carbohydrate. It's also a source of complete protein, good source of fiber. So it is a, a good complex carb to go along with our rainbow trout. And all we need to do with this, very straightforward, 
we're just going to mix it up a two to one ratio of water to quinoa and then just boil it on the stove for about 15 minutes. Straightforward. So while the fish is cooking, this is going to be boiling away. So one cup, oh shit, I spilled. <laughs> One cup minus what I spilt over the counter. All right, so there we go. One cup, I'll clean that up after. One cup of quinoa, and two cups of water. Try not to spill it, but if you do, so be it. Shit happens. This is raw and real, nothing's pre-edited here. So two cups of water, and we're just gonna boil it on the stove. Simple as that. While our salmon is, or salmon shit, rainbow trout is cooking, the quinoa is boiling, and in 15 minutes time we will sit down to a delicious and healthy and nutritious bodybuilding meal. Alrighty, the trout looks good. I'll round up. And our quinoa is cooked. Just fluff that up a bit. There we go. And to go along with it, I also prepared a garden salad. So that will be a complete meal. You can look at it as uh, your plate in thirds. You have a third protein, a third starchy carbohydrates, and a third green vegetable. And that's a good way to divvy up your plate for an ideal muscle building meal. just come right off the skin and it did so there we go so the skin is still stuck to the tin foil and the fish just peels right off and separates nicely should separate nicely there we go fish up a couple servings And I'm still spilling the quinoa over the countertop. <laughs> Spilt it when I'm cooking it. Now I'm spilling it when it's cooked. And of course, some garden salad. And this is a kale salad. And we put in some spinach and mushrooms and tomatoes and all that in addition to it. So it was bought as a prepackaged kale salad and we just added in some extra stuff to go along with it. There we go. Alright, so a delicious, healthy, and nutritious muscle building meal. Rainbow trout, quinoa, and a garden salad. Meal idea for you, so give that a try for yourself. And if you have any feedback, comments, anything at all, feel free to post them below this video. And stay tuned for some more nutritional and exercise videos coming your way. Take care. Over and out.